Greetings fellow Shadow Raiders, Kropcio here and this is Raid Shadow Legends, free to play episode 87. Uh, today I would like to showcase uh, my new champion. Maybe it's not new because in this game you need some time to build champions. But uh, recently I added to collection and finally built and this is uh, Vizuk the Noxious. This is so far my most powerful in terms of the overall power champion the account um, what I can say it's not easy to get him that's first things because you need to um, pull your shards during special time frame uh, because this is unity uh, champion uh, which means that uh, this champion will have special uh, additional bonuses to um, the champions from the same faction uh, so let's take a look to his kit uh, quickly. So A1 is uh, attack all enemies, 50% uh, chance to activate poisons and burns on everybody. Great, because the A2 is on the free turn cooldown, attack all enemies, 100% chance to place two poisons and one HP burn. Um, so this very well synergize with the uh, first attack. A3, A3 uh, before attacking increasing accuracy and then uh, increase the duration and then debuffs so in terms of poisons and for example uh, HP burn also decrease duration of uh, all, uh, ally debuffs so some kind of cl cleanse uh, if you have more than one uh, champion from Ogryn uh, tribe, so you will get additional bonuses like increased speed uh, for the ter uh, two turns, uh, increased duration for by two turn and decrease by two turns. So this is cleanse and even more extension. And if you if you have four. Uh, Og Ogren in the team, so you will have additional uh, big heal here uh, from this part. Uh, pass regarding the passive, so uh, we this passive increases accuracy for each HP burn and poison debuff on enemy uh, for each ally, right? So great, um, and some additional uh, bonuses like additional damage. Uh, from poisons, uh, generate damage if you if someone hitting uh, the enemy under HP burn on poison, and also the poisons and burn cannot be removed, stolen on transfer. So this is some kind of protected debuff, which is great. Uh, aura, so HP in all uh, battles by 30%. And we also got uh, speed uh, for Ogryn only uh, by 15% in all battles. V pretty long uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of skills uh, set. Uh, so let's see how I built him. So I've got uh, for him three piece protection. So additional speed here. Uh, one piece of feral somehow. Yeah, boots. Uh, we got stone skin, one piece. And generally that's all. Uh, probably I should look for, for <laughs> uh, pinpoint, but uh, yeah, do, do not have anything good uh, for him. So in terms of overall stats, we got uh, pretty good HP, and because of course because of uh, I have five star blessing on this champion. As I remember, I got this from um, tournament. There was some time ago tournament. Uh, probably champion training or champion chase uh, so for the first uh, position in the tournament you get this uh, five star soul i managed to do that so why not okay so let's back to the stats so pretty nice defense almost 4k uh, good speed um, got pretty decent uh, resistance over 400 and good uh, accuracy Okay, so where I'm using this bad boy, he looks very good, no, very cool, I would say, with this uh, banner. Yeah, it's pretty big, sometimes it's hard to fit him in one screen. <laughs> okay, so first thing, uh, let me showcase this bad boy in 
campaign, right? So campaign uh, got brimstone path 12 free. So uh, yeah, that's the setup. So he's able to do pretty nice uh, in terms of campaign farming. Uh, if everything will go right, so this will be like eight second clear. Let's see. Yeah, eight second. Pretty nice. That's what we want to see. Pretty nice. Uh, good clear. Okay, but that was just a uh, funky thing. Okay, so where else uh, I'm using it? Uh, this guy. So, Dragon 20, uh, normal. So, this will be for tournaments, etc. So, let me uh, add some food for this champion. So, let's take some two stars. Yeah, and he will. He should uh, solo uh, this stage easily. So let's see. Uh, his magic affinity, so here uh, enemies are also magic, so we'll see some... Um, yeah, no, no hits from both sides, so this is normal fight. No advantages from any side. Yeah, so... Uh, he he do not have any healing on his side, so we are just soloing, uh, at least we're trying to solo uh, this dungeon just by himself, no healing, no nothing. So far it's working fine. Okay, now in Dragon. Yes, he's pretty fast, so we should be good. Also got uh, good resistance. So 100,000 uh, uh, HP. This is pretty huge pool. So as you see, there is not even a danger that he will die, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, so that's how you can solo with this guy. Uh, Dragon 20 with foot, which is great. Okay, but that's not all, that's not all. So let's switch to hard. So in hard, finally I got uh, built a team for Dragon 10 hard. So I've got preset for that. So it should be here. Okay, so that's the team. Uh, I will explain while we're running uh, who is uh, for what here. So let's run. Okay, so we got Wizuk. Uh, together with Wizuk, we got uh, Ugo. So Ugo is another Ogryn. Uh, so it means uh, that uh, A3 from Wizuk will also give us increased speed, like this one. So now we got increased speed on our champions. Uh, so that's additional part. Uh, we got uh, Ninja. So Ninja is also with uh, six star blessing. So for hard dungeons, you generally want to bring uh, champions with high blessings. And he is generally boss killer. Um, we also got here an uh, interesting combo with uh, Pytheon and Toragi. Uh, why this is interesting? Because uh, Dragon is hitting pretty hard. And uh, so Toragi will place, hopefully, uh, ally protection on all our team. And if Dragon will hit hard, so uh, Toragi will soak all the damage uh, from all our guys and generally they will be safe, Toragi will die and Python will revive him. Also Python uh, provides uh, block debuffs buff which will help uh, to survive and uh, prevent those poisons if we manage to do that and also some good healing. Yeah, so a lot of debuffs, so Dragon with uh, increased attack buff, yeah, so so Turagi died, uh, <laughs> uh, Python revived him, pretty nice and easy. Uh, is it quick uh, run? Uh, I say below 2 minutes, I think it should be fine. Yeah, so Ninja is doing great work. 
Yeah, so all the HP burns and poisons, they are doing totally great in this dungeon. So Wizuk to, together with Ugo, they are doing a lot of uh, here. Uh, yeah, so if you want to compare the damage here, so Ninja with 6 star blessing uh, did almost 6 million damage. Wizuk, uh, yeah, also 6 million damage. So the, the damage is... Uh, Mm, comparable here, uh, here, so they are generally great. Okay, and the uh, last uh, part that I want to present this guy, and just to uh, mention that I'm working uh, still uh, on the Marius mission, so now we got uh, another one to d deal 6 million damage, uh, 7, 7 million damage in Hydra. Uh, this is uh, hard, but will be aiming a little bit higher. Uh, so let's take a look to my profile. So in my profile, uh, my reco rec personal record uh, here now is 113 millions uh, of damage on the Nightmare, uh, which is uh, for me is a very good uh, result. So we'll be running the same team um, where Wizuk is in, in this team and we'll see if this will work uh, the same but because recently we got this uh, change uh, for hydra so let's see if this will uh, impact this team yeah and probably also rotation uh, is important here okay so let's try to find the team so that's the nightmare team Okay, uh, so we got preset, but generally, uh, let me explain. So we got Wizak with uh, Ugo, so to get this additional uh, increased speed um, buff, we got two damage dealers, so Ratalos and uh, Thor, so my, my two most uh, well-built champions. Uh, we got uh, Wixwell uh, with Provoke, decrease attack, some protection. Uh, Mitrala here for uh, Hex, also some buffs, etc. Yeah, so that's the team. And this team, before the uh, Hydra change, did uh, a lot of damage. Okay, so we do not have uh, Head of Decay, which is uh, clearing um, the debuffs, so I think we can start with Auto. And let's see how Auto will work here. So we are doing some damage, we got block uh, buffs everywhere, we got decreased speed from Thor, some brimstone action, we got poisons, HP burns, decrease attack, so generally we got here everything what we need. Not sure if I will be showcasing all battle because this will be an auto, so at some point probably we will uh, skip to the... Uh, later stages. In this fight you need to watch out for yeah uh, for Hydra consumption uh, uh, to, and but but because we have two uh, pretty good damage dealers we got HP burns with explosion activation so we should be able to uh, quickly uh, free our champions. Okay, so our mission was to deal 7 million damage on Brutal, uh, on Heart or Brutal, right? So we got already 8 millions, yeah, in turn 11, which is great. Um, what th this team is missing? This team missing a little bit more uh, healing. Uh, so far I've got some healing from Ugo. It's not enough, so but if Ugo uh, will land his uh, A1, which will uh, be um, Leech, so then Ratalos and uh, Thor can heal themselves if they need, which is great. Some some buff stealing actions. Okay. Ah, uh, huh, so what is? important here to notice so we do not have an uh, uh, reviver in this team uh, so uh, 
only Ugo, but uh, Ugo revive is very uh, hard to trigger because whole, ne whole team needs to be dead, so then Ugo can revive, so it is hard to do that, especially if we got uh, so tanky Wizuk. Uh, so we, and Mitrala, so I'm not sure if Ugo will be able to uh, out-survive them, <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, so this will be tricky, so... But so far, looks good uh, in terms of heads. Okay, we got head of decay. Okay, we... Ah, forgot to uh, do that, so... But A1 is already there. So let the head of decay do their stuff. Let's see. <clears throat> so I'm not doing any record here, so there is no need. Hopefully, my champions will uh, attack the uh, head that is currently uh, with Ratalos. Yeah. Okay. Ugo is attacking there. Now Thor. We need to free this guy. Oh, that's not good. Uh, we got a uh, poison cloud, which will prevent some damage, but hopefully um, Wizuk will uh, activate some poison, so maybe let's try to force it. Uh, we got also reflect damage, which is also dangerous for uh, Thor, so maybe let's do the A1 try free Ratalos. Okay. So Ratalos is free. Okay, if we will, uh, some, uh, I mean, Thor or uh, Ratalos will die from uh, reflect damage. Yeah, so it happens sometimes. <laughs> and so we do not have chance to revive them. So it's, so it's great to have a shield. So shield will save us. At least it should. Okay, with decrease attack. No more buffs. Okay, so A3 from Wizuki is also decreasing the uh, duration of buffs, so probably that was the case. Uh, removing the um, reflect damage, which is great. Yeah, so team is working pretty good. I'm very happy with this uh, team. Okay, so let me uh, pause here and we'll back later when something interesting will happen. Okay, so we got some problem here. So head of suffering, uh, already trying to consume uh, Wixwell and we got a lot of buffs on this uh, <laughs> head together with, uh, yeah, with those a special buff, so let's try to do something with that. Okay, so yeah, let's try to remove or decrease those buffs. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's go. It will be hard to free him because only one turn left. Uh, at least we got uh, good results, so 45 million is good enough. Oh, we are so close. To three weeks well maybe maybe there is a chance he got stun not sure if uh, stun is preventing from oh no it's not preventing uh, from consumption okay so we do not have um, weeks well in the team that's sad yeah but we already got 48 millions which is great so let's see what will happen next yeah, so what I noticed so that the um, block debuffs buff from Mugo is not so consistent. It's hard to yeah have this buff or, or a debuff on the heads all the time, and because of that, they, they are um, buffing themselves too much with this poison cloud. So it's hard to do anything. Uh, you can of course rerun to account for better RNG. Yeah, but not the point for the showcasing today. 50 million is enough for me to uh, at this day, so that's fine. Okay, so we'll be back at the uh, damage screen. Okay, so only Vizuk left 
final few hits and we are done. Okay, we got almost 55 million of damage, so let's take a look at uh, the damage uh, distribution. Uh, so Mitrala over 7 million, so this is probably because of the hex. Uh, how this is calculated, got uh, Ratalos over 12 million damage, Rotor over 60, hmm, 16, and we got oh, uh, more than 13 million from Wizek. So he is do doing pretty good work here. Uh, so I'm s what I can say, he's very very uh, useful in Hydra, so if you have him, just give him Ugo and he will be doing just fine uh, in the Hydra runs from what I see. Okay, so we got uh, 218 uh, million of um, points for Clash, which is great. So let's keep the results. And it should be enough to uh, finally climb my uh, top chest from the personal. So we'll get some accessories from uh, stone skin and protection, which is great. Yeah, I'll review that later. Yeah, so I think this is my third uh, or second, I don't know, uh, probably second time when I am clearing uh, and getting the top, top chest here, which is great. Okay, so that will be all for today. So uh, please tell me what do you think about uh, the Vizuk. I know it's not easy to get him, but uh, yeah, if you at some point uh, got him, so you can for sure invest uh, this guy and um, use him in various con content like even campaign farming, dragon normal dragon heart teams uh, and also hydra yeah so have a nice day and see you in the next one cheers